patriarchy, sexism, feminism, rape, rape culture, all these words are trigger words and buzzwords. What is a trigger word? A trigger word is a tr word that triggers a thought, a memory, or an emotion inside of you. What is a buzzword? It is a word to control, manipulate, abuse, shame, and humiliate. Take the word, the biggest one lately nowadays, by the way, the biggest buzzword nowadays, misogynist. First off, ask yourself this right now. What is the worst that could happen to you if you were labeled a misogynist? You mean you hate women? Fine. What, does that mean that all the women are going to attack you in the world because you hate women? That's what it is to be called a misogynist. Right? What is the worst that could happen with that? Absolutely nothing. So why do men fear it? Because they fear not being accepted by the opposite sex. You fear being rejected. And I'm here to say, as another fellow man, that when you reject them, they want you more than anything. When you try to pussy panda to them, they don't want you. you. If you ever wondered why the bad guy ends up with a girl and you don't, it's because the bad guy lured her in with his mystery, then treated her like crap and alienated her. Think about it. It's all the same story. Every girl that goes to the bad boy has the exact same story to tell. I fell madly in love with him. He's the only guy I'll ever love. I miss him when he's gone. And then when she has a baby with him, he smacks her around a bit. She runs away. She ends up on child support, and she's a single mother. There's an entire world filled today with exactly that same storyline. Exactly the same. Look at all the single mothers out there. Every single mother today has the exact same story to tell. She got together with the wrong guy. She ended up getting beaten up, raped, or abused, or emotional abuse crap. And she ran away. She took the kids. Became a single mother. <laughs> you think that's all this by accident, don't you all guys? Do you all really think that's all this by accident? So there's no responsibility there for the women picking the bad man? It's all the bad man's fault. Ooh, big bad boogeyman. The big old patriarchy. Is that it? Couldn't it be that the woman was underdeveloped mentally, spiritually, emotionally, and she took advantage of the man all the time and acted like the man was everything and she was just supposed to get along with him and if she couldn't do that, she'd fail? Couldn't it be anything like that, right? It couldn't be that she was wearing a mask or pretending to be something she was not or using the man to get pregnant so that she would have an income for 18 years, right? It couldn't possibly be any of that, could it? Could it be that when she said that she was taking the pill she really wasn't taking the pill because she wants to get that baby so that way that way she'll have an income for 18 years where she could sit on her ass for 18 years and have an income for herself. Couldn't possibly be anything like that, right? Because women don't do that, right? Women don't go around saying it's your baby when it's not your baby. No, they don't do that either, do they? Rape. 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 Do you hear how that word echoes in your head when you say it? How you've heard it a thousand times before, so when you hear it now, you flash back to one of the times you heard it in the past, which usually came out of a feminist mouth? You see, that's how they get you. It's very simple. If I said to you today the word grass, tomorrow I come to you and I say the word grass. The day after I come to you and say the word grass, but this time I say it aggressively. The day after that I come to you and I say the word grass. The next time you hear the word grass, you're going to focus on the last time that you heard the word grass aggressively. So even though I came to you four different days, and only on the third day I said it to you aggressively, but on the fourth day I said it to you normally, you would remember the time I said it to you aggressively. And this is exactly how feminists work. You see it all the time. They tell men to shut the fuck up. And uh, patriarchy. And uh, how we hate it. And rape. And all this stuff they keep throwing at men. So that every time a man hears the word, he cringes. He gets a little bit stomach twisting like, ugh, I hate that word. It's done on purpose. It's called brainwashing, folks. That is what true brainwashing is. So again, if I came to you today and I said to you, uh, catch this football. And I threw the football at you. You'd catch it. No problem. Next day I come up to you and again I say, catch this football. And I throw you the football. And you catch it. No problem. 
day after that, I say to you, catch this football. And I throw it really hard at you. And you don't catch it, but it hits you in the face. You do your thing, you go home. The next day I come to you and I say, catch this football. You're going to cringe. You are definitely going to cringe because the day before you got hit in the face with the football. This is exactly how feminism works. If you look today, you'll see teenage women all out there today screaming from the top of their lungs on all their videos. The same thing that feminists scream all the time. Rape culture. Patriarchy. Hate the patriarchy. It's brainwashing, folks. All these girls today are afraid to walk on the street, afraid to get raped at night. They are so narcissistic and entitled that they actually believe that they are gorgeous human beings that are so ridiculously stunning that men cannot just help themselves because they're such beasts that they'll rape them, even though the man could go to jail for that for the rest of his life or be lo uh, beaten up in uh, jail because he's a uh, rapist by other manginas. And that no man would ever come to her rescue while she's being raped in some kind of parking lot. Even though the parking lots have cameras all over them and they have lighting. and It's just like, oh, I'm so scared. Well, if you're so scared, there's a word for that. It's called paranoia. Because the truth is, men are not so horny for you. You are not so beautiful and you are not worth going to jail for like 99.99999% of men. So... Delusional, big time delusional. And if you're so afraid in real life to go out after work and walk down to your car in the parking lot, guess what would make you feel a lot safer? Having a man with you. But you don't like men. Patriarchy, remember? I can't express this enough. I have to say it again. Women around the world are watching videos of other women who are telling them consistently on a day-to-day -day basis be afraid of being raped be afraid of the patriarchy be afraid be afraid be afraid and because these women are older than them or they think they're more smarter than them or they have more views or whatever reason they have in the little pea brains to listen to them we'll start listening to them and they will become just as paranoid as the feminists who brainwashed them in the first place. This is why I see feminists as vampires. Because they bite a victim, and the victim becomes a vampire. It's also cult-like behavior. That's exactly how cults work. You say a bunch of jibber-jabber, you say it long enough, people start believing it, they start following you, and at the end you have mass suicide. Don't tell women how to prevent being raped. Tell men not to rape. This is another insanity that feminists have come up with. Again, to once again use the word rape to make girls think about what it'd be like to be raped, to fear rape, and to create this entitled narcissistic mindset that they are such beautiful creatures that any guy would just jump at the, po at the opportunity to jump on them. So like... Like, men are just luring around corners and waiting for you in the parking lot so that when you come on out, they'll jump you. This is insanity, folks. And not only that, but the most average person to be jumped on the street, even in broad daylight, is a man, not a woman. Men get more mugged. Men get killed more on the street. Men are actually pretty much, yeah, the abuse victims in all of the world in every case. Just, we don't talk about that because it's all about the angry, fem the angry feminist and the bad patriarchy. Where everything man does is bad and everything a woman does is great. Let me tell you something about patriarchy, folks. Before women's sorry asses came into the workforce, before they actually had anything good to, say, uh, good to do in our workforce, which actually they still don't have, but ever before they joined, we had patriarchy already. It was the society rules that men needed to get along with each other without killing each other. Men created this world. Men built this world. So it's only not normal and logical that men would set society as well. When we created patriarchy, <laughs> it was only because men didn't get along very well and we needed it to make a society and make a structure together where all men could live underneath the same rules. No, we didn't expect women to join the workforce because that would be insane because women at the time were mothers and not workers.